Place the instrument on the stable and level bench. Then put the external level bubble on the sliding table and adjust the foot screws until the sliding table is level. Plug in the power cord and connect the power supply. Stylus inspection Take out the stylus and examine it under the microscope. Preferably at a magnification of X100. To ensure that it is undamaged and securely locked. When the contact point is worn loosen the stylus compression screw with the supplied wrench. Rotate it so that an unworn area is in contact with the panel. When all the ring is worn replace it by a new one. Completely loosen the two locking screws on the compression piece to OEPN it. Remove the stylus and install a new stylus. Loosen the limited knob. Lift up the counterbalanced beam and lock it. Insert the stylus rod from top to bottom into the counterbalanced beam and lock it. Attention that the notch in the middle of the stylus rod is facing the fixed screw. Install the weight holder and the gasket. Panel installation loosen the four fixed screws on the workbench. Place the test panel with the coated face up on the working platform. The right end of the test panel is pressed against the right edge of the workbench. Adjust the fixed plate for panel to fix the left end of panel. The thick test panel is fixed with a notched end of the fixed plate. The level adjustment of counterbalanced beam loosen the limited knob and lower the counterbalanced beam. Rotate the lifting nut to lift up the counterbalanced beam. Until the level bubble on the counterbalanced beam is in center. Lower the counterbalanced beam. Until the tip of the stylus is just touching the surface of the test panel. Check again whether the counterbalanced beam is level. Install a certain weight to the weight holder according to the test requirements. On the power switch. Check if the work platform is at the far right if not press button to reset the work platform. Press button plus minus to set the moving speed according to the test requirement. In general the morning speed is 3 mm per second to 6 mm per second. Press button to allow the scratch to be made on the coating. If want to stop the test during the moving press button to stop it. The machine would run again if press button. The instrument automatically stops when the scratch length reaches 85 mm. Inspect the coating for scratching under a suitable magnification or with the naked eye. If you need to perform the scratch test at different position on the same test panel rotate the adjusting knob to lift up the counterbalance beam. And press button to allow the workbench return to the right. Fixed screw for holder on the right end of the workbench. Move the bench back and forth until the stylus is facing the new area of the test panel and do the scratch test again. 
Attention that the distance between the scratches to be made will be at least 5 mm. And the distance from the scratches to the edge of the test panel will be at least 10 mm. To determine the minimum load to cause penetration progressively increase the load on the stylus in suitable increments until the coating is penetrated.